How to calculate your ABV with just these two tools. Have you ever had this happen? Oh no, I forgot to take an original gravity reading. Well, if you have, you know that you can get a roundabout number by estimating your recipe, but what if you didn't even take notes? What if you have nothing? Can you still calculate the ABV of a finished product? I learned that there's a formula to do it, and actually there's more than one, but it does require a couple of things. You have to have a refractometer that reads bricks, you have to have a hydrometer that reads specific gravity, and a thermometer, probe type, is pretty helpful. So I have here some of our black briar mead, and that one came out to 1.004 final gravity and 12.4%. I'm gonna grab a sample from the hydrometer. I did sanitize everything, by the way. Okay, I know I said it came out at 1.004. I'm checking it just to be absolutely certain that that is where it ended up, 1.004. Okay, so we are safe there, that's perfect. Now, what I wanna do is take a refractometer reading. Now, even if I didn't know what that number was on the bottle, it's okay. You can still do this method. That's exactly what it's for, is when you don't have any idea. I'm gonna use the refractometer, just put a little bit of the sample on there, point it at a bright light source like the one that's lighting my face. It's reading pretty much exactly nine bricks. Now, here's where it gets interesting. There is a formula that I'll put on the screen that you can use, but I found an app for your phone, a free app, by the way, that does this exact formula and three others. So it's kind of cool. It's called FirmCalc. I'll put a, a link to it right in the description. And in there, it has several different functions. Uh, let me see if I can get some screenshots of these for you so you can see them. So as you can see, looking at this, it'll calculate a lot of different things, but if you click on the middle and go to alcohol, you can actually do the standard calculations for hydrometer readings and things like that. You can also do hydrometer and refractometer right there at the top. By the way, this tool also helps you with fortification. I haven't tested that yet, but you can help calculate fortification when you're adding spirits to something. First thing you wanna enter is the refractometer reading, which was nine bricks. Then you wanna enter your specific gravity reading, which is 1.004. Then I need to know what the temperature was of my specific gravity reading. So for that, I'm gonna use a probe thermometer. It's, I'm guessing it's probably around 73, 74, degrees Fahrenheit. 75.4 is our internal temperature of our brew. Calibration temperature of your hydrometer. Now I think mine is 60, but let me make sure. 60 degrees Fahrenheit. So that gives a corrected SG and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so that gives me our alcohol percentage by volume, 10.8 according to the Rogerson and Symington, which is the standard for the formula that I put up on the screen earlier, but there's also others that are 10.9, 11.5, and 10.9. Now, something that I like to do is I'll just sort of average them together. So I have 10.8, 10.9, 10.9, and 11.5. So 10.8 plus 10.9 plus 11.5 plus 10.9. Divide that by four, and I get 11.02. Now, for me personally, I'm not too fussed about a half a percent or anything like that. So I'm looking at it's between 10.8 and 11%. I have on here 12.4%. So that tells you that there's still a lot of inaccuracy in homebrew and this is a dry brew. So this probably wasn't back sweetened much at all. When they do get back sweetened though, that's when things get a little bit interesting. But also there's been a brew that we made that a lot of people questioned whether we really did achieve the ABV that we achieved. And I'm gonna say they're probably right, so let's test it. First, I just re-sanitized all of my equipment. So it's ready to go. There should not be any uh, leftovers, so to speak, in the next test. And in case you didn't figure it out already, that one that we're gonna talk about is our 30% mead. Because a lot of people did question whether it really hit 30%. And you know, that made me start thinking. We added so much honey to this that we diluted it that it's possible it's not really at that 30.3%. But I always thought it'd be pretty close. Let's find out. Same exact methodology. Take a hydrometer reading. Now this test is interesting because there's so much more ethanol here, it could skew the results. And that's where I'm curious. We did finish at a 1.012, so there's still not a lot of sugars in there, but the ethanol adds so much more low gravity that it kind of skews it. So let, let's find out. 1.012, final gravity. Now we take a refractometer reading where we just put a little bit on top of this, point it at a bright light. 22.6 bricks. Now something of note when you're doing these readings is you do not want to convert for alcohol on your bricks reading. You wanna use the actual bricks number that you get right from the refractometer. So let's put these in. 
22.6 bricks and 1.012 original gravity. Um, I did not take a temperature of this one. Let's, let's take a temperature. It's probably the same as the other one because they were sitting on the same shelf pretty much. Okay, we were close. According to the different ones, they come out at 29.8, 27, 28.5, and 29.1. So I'm gonna say, no, we didn't actually get 30%, but we came really, really close. So the summation of this method though, is that even with very simple equipment and a pen and paper, you can actually calculate your ABV within some amount of reasonable accuracy, within a point or so, I would say, and you can do it all without fancy gear and fancy crazy stuff. If you don't want to do the math on paper, use an app on your cell phone. Really, really simple. If you have any questions or comments on this or you want to see another test like this, just ask in the comments below. We do try to get to everybody as soon as we can. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.